Well, did you happen to catch Land in Sea on Sunday? Well, if you did miss it, it's on again right after here and now this evening. The show is called Science of the Labrador Sea. It's all about a voyage the Land and Sea crew took on the Coast Guard ship Amundsen with a large group of researchers. And all this week, Jane 80 will be bringing us stories from their trip. Tonight, it's a snapshot of life on board the boat. Our voyage on board Coast Guard ship Amundsen begins in Quebec City. We travel all the way up the coast of Labrador. Our two weeks on board brings multiple stops in the Labrador Sea where researchers explore and take samples. We finish our journey in Iqaluit, Nunavut. Dave Cote is the chief scientist on board. Cote is a researcher with Fisheries and Oceans Canada. Everything is super choreographed. We start planning about 10 months in advance. We have people packing kits like they're going out into space, for example. So they'll be itemizing all the things that we might need, the things we might need if things break down. And everything is put in boxes and shipped to the Amundsen months in advance because once it leaves for the Arctic, everything has to be on it. This is an annual trip made by the Amundsen. Once the vessel reaches the coast of Labrador, the work begins. Operations on the bow of the ship go on 24 hours a day at testing sites. The Coast Guard crew goes on, on shift work, so they're working 12-hour shifts, and then the scientists are basically working whenever they need to work. And so some people have really heavy days where they might work a lot longer than normal. Sometimes other people are sampling on the front deck a little bit more, and those people will get a chance to rest. So the scientist life is pretty erratic. The Coast Guard crew is, is uh, much more regimented. But in the end, everybody's working really hard. You know, we, we love it, but it's by the time you're off the boat, you're usually pretty tired. Pascal Pellerin is the captain on board the Amundsen. We get to see the scientists really motivated in their field, in their research, and we're motivated about it too. We want to we wanna see it done, we want to get it done. With scientists and crew, there's some 80 people on board. Some are on for two weeks, others stay on for a month and travel even farther north. Daniel Amaro is an ocean mapper who helps researchers locate areas they want to study. You quickly get to know people uh, right away. It's like an accelerated friendship almost. It's really cool. I find that, uh, just say like, it's, it's like a little island almost that's just floating uh, on the ocean. So you kind of make it your home in some way. The scientists spend a lot of time on deck in all kinds of weather. Plus que la profondeur. Eugenie Jacobson studies deep sea fish. This is her second time on the Amundsen. She says even when the weather is poor, there are certain luxuries to keep spirits high. It could be ice and snow, but I, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, yeah, I did find out that my suit wasn't waterproof the other day. I learned that the hard way. But uh, it's going to be, it's good. I'm happy. I'm happy. And we have nice warm showers on board, so it's great. And hot chocolate. <laughs> and comfortable bunks, too, according to the researchers. Sheena Rule works with Fisheries and Oceans Canada. How do you sleep on board? Uh, it's really comfortable, actually, because I spend a lot of time on 65 foot crab fishing boats. That's where I do most of my field work. And, um, you know, you walk down into the bunk room in the bow of the ship, and you have all the eight bunks. and. It's very small and tight and everyone's snoring and <laughs> so this is like this is really comfortable yeah this is a this is luxury <laughs> in terms of places to sleep when you're in the field this is very good okay how about the food oh the food's amazing yeah the food is always really really good on board no bland cafeteria grub on the Amundsen every night brings a different meal and what would a voyage with ocean researchers be without fish and chips on the menu? Plus, scientists and reporters with sweet tooths are in luck. A French pastry chef keeps the cooler stocked with decadent desserts. So that's an introduction to life on board Coast Guard ship Amundsen. We'll bring you more stories from the Labrador Sea this week. For Here and Now, I'm Jane Aidy with Land and Sea.